These are the last moments of Yawan Wayeni's life, filmed by a police officer on his mobile phone. Most of the pictures are too graphic to show. Wayeni is critically injured in his abdomen. Police say they fired on the independence activist after he tried to shoot them. But when Wayeni utters the word independence, the officers start to insult him. In a phone conversation, his widow says that her husband was killed by mass policemen outside his house. She says he wasn't carrying a weapon. The police say Wayeni was part of an armed separatist movement and wanted for several attacks. My deceased husband jumped from the house when he saw the troops approaching while well, the family stayed behind. We stayed inside until they took us and when we turned around we saw my husband with his intestines hanging out. Shortly after the killing, which took place a year ago, local human rights organization Contras demanded an investigation. Nothing happened. Now, with the video of Wayeni's ordeal circulating on the internet, Papua is again in the headlines. The way police treated uh, Yawan Wayeni before he died, it shows how racist uh, police apparatus in Papua, and also it shows uh, how easy uh, police apparatus treated uh, Papuan inhumanly and degrading their dignity. And this is against international law. This is against Indonesian constitution. This is against national law. But the police chief responsible for Wayan's case says his men didn't violate his human rights. You have to understand the situation up here. While my men are talking to him, the others are making a stretcher to take him down. When he keeps talking about independence, my men had to stop him from doing that because you will never get your independence. We are the unity state of Indonesia. Don't ever dream of your freedom. We have to tell them that. A lot of times the reports... Uh, International crisis group warns frustration and resentment are growing in Papua. The advisory group warns if not handled properly, the situation could easily explode in violence. I think we're already seeing the, some of the radical organizations demanding independence gaining more influence. And I think as long as the frustration is allowed to build without a real effort, public effort, to meet the, the Papuans halfway, those voices will continue to grow stronger. And ultimately, one possibility would be outbreaks of violence. Human rights groups say peace in Papua can only come when the government starts dealing with past abuses. Abuses such as the killing of Yawan Wayeni. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.